Hey, so Mike Cardis here. Today, I'm gonna to share with you just two tips or ways you can personally look at developing skills and resiliency through working at home. This small talk today comes from some work I'm doing with a manager. A manager named Amy and I were talking on the phone, having a virtual Zoom meeting. And Amy was asking me and telling me about challenges she's having at home, identifying things she wants to do more of and things she might regret later on and things she wants to do less stuff but things she won't regret later on with working at home and challenges. So I was doing some research and there's a technique utilized by many folks in the personal wellness field, which is looking out um, potentially a year from now and imagining yourself, imagine that it's one year from today, one year post COVID or one year post the time that is today. And you're looking back at how you spent your time at home or how you spent your time, how you spent your life. So it's one year out from today and you're looking back at your time. Looking back at that time, what are some things you wish you had done more of? And what are some things you wish you had done less of? And so I'm going to show you a small PowerPoint and a metric here that we created to work through this process. So as you can see here, I created a template. And this template will be in the email and in the link below this video. And it walks through that question. So it's one year from today. Looking back at your time during COVID or during your time working at home, what do you wish you had spent more time doing? What do you wish you had spent less time doing? And take some time. If you'd like to, you can make a similar process here to what I developed. You can make a chart, make the chart, make more time doing in one column, less time doing in the other column, and then just list those things out. Like you'll see for me personally, I listed out more time doing, creating models and content for my work spending time with Christine, my wife, playing more with my kids, exercising, making more videos like this. These are things I want to spend more time doing. Then less time doing would be things like wasting time on social media, comparing myself and my work to others, drinking too much alcohol, um, having expectations of how things should be, watching too much TV, sleeping, and arguing with my wife. So in about five minutes, I was able to kind of stop, imagine myself a year in the future, look back at my current time and think, yeah, I want to be doing more of these things and less of these things. Following that small process, we asked folks, or I would ask you, and we can work together on this, to create what we call a, a priority matrix. It looks like a target diagram here. In a target diagram, you would draw one, two, three circles, and you'd label those circles, very important being the center circle, important being the second circle, and less important being the third circle. So you're thinking about your priorities and where you want to spend your time, increasing more of and decreasing, doing less of. Now they would radiate out as far as importance based upon your life and your values. So what you'll see here is I took the ones that were more of, or the things I wish I had spent more time doing, the yellow post-it notes, and I placed those in the top half of the circle based upon, in my view, what I feel is most important to less important. And then I placed on the lower half of the circle, the purple ones that are less of important in the lower half of the circle from very important to less important. Now by doing this, it helped me begin to frame what right now is important to me and what do I have some control over and how can I make a difference in my life to start doing things now or how will I see those things to move forward. One of the biggest challenges that we run into as you're going through this more of less of priority prioritization piece, is how do we create mnemonics or heuristics or small tricks or hacks in your life to kind of catch you in real time, stopping doing what you don't want to do, and then quickly shift it to more of. So in the coaching work that I do, and also for myself, I create this three three step process: when, then, for how long. So when the stuff you want to do less of happens, then then you'll do stuff you want to do more of for a certain amount of time. So here's some examples that I wrote down. So when I've been playing on social media for too long, then I'll play with my kids for 30 to 60 minutes. When I start drinking too much alcohol, then I will write an article for 30 to 45 minutes. When I compare myself to others, then I will exercise and take a walk for 30 plus minutes. So what you can see here is I identified the things I don't want to have happen, do less of. When I catch myself doing those things, I create a heuristic or a mind step or a process and action item to say, when I'm doing these things, 
then I will do these things for a set amount of time. This takes away some of the ambiguity or the frustration you might feel in the, I don't know what to do. By giving your brain a process or a system to stand on, it creates creativity and process for you to get things done. So when you start doing these things, you can then kind of close out the, the loop and put things in. So I recommend that you go through the same process yourself. Create a column, identify thinking out it's a year from today or a year from post COVID or a year from right now. You imagine you're there, you're looking back at your time. What do you wish you had spent more time doing? Make a list. What do you wish you had spent less time doing? Make a list. From that, create a prioritization matrix, listing the circles out. If you can, on post-it notes or even just on your own pen, write and transfer things, however you want to do it is fine. The top things on the top half of the circle from very important to least important or less important, put them here, chart them out, look at them. On the bottom half, those are things you want to do less of, chart those out from less important to more important. You can do this every day if you want. You can kind of sort of say, hey, um, at this point, it's tomorrow. Looking back at today, what do I wish I spent more time doing? What do I wish I, wish I spent less time doing? You can set the time for me if you think it's appropriate. Once you've done that, though, the important next step is this when, then, for piece. So identify when stuff you want to do less of happens. Oh, I see that I'm starting to argue too much with my wife, Christine. Then what will I do in place? In place of that, I will go play with my kids for 30 to 45 minutes. Then for and make sure time frame is there. By creating these when, then, for statements, you're giving your brain traction and things to work through. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you have a chance to do it. If you'd like to walk through this and for me to work with you in the process, I'm also able to do that. We can get together. You and I can have a quick phone call or a Zoom meeting. We can develop a matrix. And from the matrix, I can begin to work with you, identify things you want to do more of and less of, and create your when, then, for processes. We can utilize Zoom technology or face-to-face -face stuff. Additionally, the same process can be done with a team. So imagine you get your team together, or you get your team together virtually, and we utilize technology or a way to kind of frame and sort of say, okay team, here it is, it is now um, a year post where we are today. What sort of things as a team or as team members do you wish you had done more of and less of? And list those parts out. And then as a team, we can identify very important, important, least important through the matrix, and then start creating some ways that as a team, the when, then, for piece, to create steps to say, when the team asks, acts like this, then we'll do these things for a certain amount of time. We can use the process individually or as teams. Again, my name is Mike Cardis from Organization Development by Mike Cardis, and I'm your partner for progress.